Hi, my name is Max, welcome back to my economic channel, Max Economics. Today we will speak about SPAC. If you inform yourself about the big transactions on the stock exchange markets you surely encountered this peculiar term. And you probably wondered what exactly a SPAC is. Well, the term is an abbreviation for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. The whole name tells us that a SPAC is a company created with the clearly defined intention to acquire something. SPAC is a procedure through which investors create a shell company, launch an initial public offer and gather money with the clear intention to buy or merge with a specific company that is not listed. The investors behind a SPAC are interested in companies that have created a new niche or market or have the potential to grow and dominate an existing one. These companies still struggle to become self-sustaining and still need large amounts of money to succeed. Usually, the acquired companies don't meet the criteria for an IPO on a stock exchange market. Merging with an already listed SPAC gives them the possibility to shorten the time to go public. Before continuing we should clarify that a SPAC is not similar to a reverse takeover. In the case of a reverse takeover, a company with a sound financial state buys a company already listed on a stock exchange market. This way the company avoids going through an initial public offer. The company that is bought is public, but probably from a declining industry. After the acquisition, its facilities are usually sold or liquidated because they have no use for the acquiring company. In the case of a SPAC, the result is somehow similar. The company avoids going through an IPO. The difference is that the SPAC and investors behind it have a greater role. They are created with a focus on a specific industry and even companies. They consider that these specific industries or companies could bring them the expected returns. After the merger or acquisition, the new company has enough funds, from the SPAC investors and the SPAC IPO, to continue the product development or market expansion. So why do some companies prefer the SPAC trajectory? Mainly, for two reasons. First, because a SPAC has already risen funds and can grant them quick access to the stock exchange market. Second, the companies can negotiate a better valuation than proceeding with a classic IPO. The process of going public is far from being easy, and during a classic IPO, the company would be under public scrutiny. And this could uncover some critical issues or buried skeletons that could strongly affect its valuations. Next week, we will talk about why the SPAC phenomenon is a problem for the stock exchange market. That's about it for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.